Now the shared application is completed for sending retrieval and real time messaging between two users, and you can chat with a limited number of users. But here we have a little problem regarding the same Now let's check the message table in the database we have this same flag and we said that the same flag is important some kind of important for the receiver side or the receiver user and for the simple user we don't count on the same flag same flag tell us that this message seen or not for the receiver user should so that the receiver user can know how many unseen messages from his side but here we have a little problem first if we check the point in the message controller here in the index function when we retrieve the message then we update update the same flag to be zero what does this happens for both the sender and the receiver for the receiver this is fine but for the sender this is not fine for example let's go back and try to send a message to user 4 here we have this user 4 and I open the user 4 also moving with user 4 in another browser window now let's try to send a new message to this user test message and send and check the other user the message is sent already and let's check the message table here this message z is zero this is fine because when you send the message to the receiver the chat panel is opened and the index method is executed and the update is happened to the same flag this is fine but if you try to send another message now check the message table here the c is one and so the user 4 is already open and see the message so this is the first problem that need to be resolved. The first problem is that when the user is online and the shared panel, I talking about the receiver, the shared panel is open, then we must update the same flag for this user. The second problem, which is in this code, if we need to update the messages here, we have to check that's that this message receiver ID is equal to the current in user. Right? So this is the two problems that we must resolve. Okay. So here I will update I, I will check if message receiver ID delete Cast this to int equal to os user id then update the status flag so here we guarantee that the update is not happening for the sender for the receiver only this is point one the next thing is to make the update in the boat to update the same flag for specific message. So let's make public function update to take the ID of the message. Here can do message message file. ID then message scene one zero the message same 
انزل ريتيرن ريسبونس سيشن ديتا ستيتس رو اوكي اوكي ريتيرن ذا مسج مسج اوكي Now let's go to uh, routes.php and then add route route then add batch or boot ID message controller update This is second point. Okay. Now we need to return back to the app dot view and shared panel dot view and call this in the boot and make necessary updates. First if we check here view, we need to call the end boot in this area. This block because this is the block that the user missing for the sent message or the received message. So let's find first sent message update request. Here we can do Access put the URI messages Let's <laughs> make this tick mark so we can make a string population. Here is the ID. It's send message ID. Then response response to data status means the status is true. Here we go to look and we can call this message here, this function here. Sent message update request here and who message at the ID okay. message update. This is the first thing. Now, the second thing we need to do here we need to show account beside each user, account beside each user with the IC messages for this user. Okay? Or the unseen messages that coming from this user to the current logged in user. For example, if user 3 send to me, which I am the current in user, three messages and I am not online, offline, then there are three messages appear here with a red background. So let's achieve this. And let's open. The user model, user model. Here we can add a relationship or a function that returns the unseen messages for this user. Public function. Let's call it unseen messages. Here 
as you know the relation between the lessee table and the user table is here the user has many in table this has many relations for the lessee table and here specify silver id of scene is one and also if receiver will be os user id Okay, so here, the relation between the user and the message, the foreign key is sender ID, where is seen is one, and receiver ID is both user ID. Now, I want this relationship, when you retrieve, let's return it back to the controllers, users of controller. Here we can add user first with and specify the relation here, which is LC message. Okay, now the LC message will be returned along with the A. With the collection of users that is displayed here in this list. Okay. 